I decided to do a what's in my beach bag and this video can also work for like a what's in my pool bag it doesn't really matter I would still bring pretty much the same stuff so I figured I would show you guys what my essentials are and part of this was filmed at the beach and looking back at the footage I really wish I was still there but I'm just in my bedroom so that sucks but anyways let's go ahead and get into the video don't matter what they say cause we be killing it killing it killing it all the way so I think one of the number one things that I always have to have with me when I go to the beach is a towel obviously so towels are great so that you don't have to sit in the sand and you can just lay out and relax so I think that one's a given, but anyways, just thought I would mention it. Now the next thing that I think is really, really important as well is sunscreen. I don't burn too bad um, unless it's like my first exposure of the summer or something, but now that it's kind of, it's like the middle of July or kind of late July now that I'm filming this, so I have gotten quite a bit of a tan. So I just like to use SPF 30, but if it's like the beginning of summer, I use a higher SPF. But I always like to make sure to apply this, no matter how tan I am. It's still very good to protect your skin from the sun. Um, so I love this one from Ocean Potion, but honestly, I feel like they're all the same. Um, I just like the way this one smells, and it's water resistant, so I always have to make sure that I have this one. And then I also like to carry just a little mini one. Um, this one's great because it's the spray-on kind, so if you're kind of lazy and you've already applied this from the beginning and then you've gone in the water, I mean, it can just get really annoying and you have to like find someone to put it on your back, and I just hate dealing with that. So this spray kind is really convenient as well. If you do happen to get sunburn, it's really good to have some type of aloe with you, so my favorite is this whole Hawaiian Tropic After Sun Lotion and I just got the little mini one at Target because it's the perfect size to just throw in your beach bag. So this one is great. It smells so good. It's the Coconut Papaya Fragrance. It smells absolutely amazing. So it says Ultra Hydrating Lotion and Soothing Aloe Gel. So this is, you can put this on after you're out in the sun all day anyways just to kind of moisturize, but it's also great for if you do get a little bit of a sunburn, then this offers some like relief because it has aloe in it. The thing that I have to have is chapstick, and this one is great. It's the Banana Boat Sport Performance. It has SPF 50 in it, which is awesome. Um, I don't know what it is. My lips are not very pigmented naturally, so I feel like they just get burnt really, really easily. And so I always love to have chapstick with SPF in it. Not even just for at the beach, but just in summer in general. Because I don't know, I wear lip gloss. I always have like a lip product on. But um, this just makes it so much better and I feel so much more protected. So, I love this. Hey, we go where we want to. Hey, it's my when it's all crew. Another thing that is an absolute must, um, as much fun as it is to just lay out on the beach and know that you're getting a tan, um, sometimes I like to take a little bit of a nap, but it can get kind of boring and I like to distract myself from how hot it is a lot of times. I do love to go in the water. I'm not one of those people who just go to the beach to lay out. I like to go in the water a lot, but um, it's nice to just relax and I love to take a book with me and of course this summer it would make sense to be reading this book. It's called The Fault in Our Stars, which I'm sure all of you have heard about. Um, I've gotten through about that much of it. So um, I actually started it when I got to the beach and then that's how far I got. I just would read it like putting my feet in the ocean and it's just awesome. Um, so I definitely recommend having a book with you. And a lot of times throughout the year I don't even get to read anyway, so it's just a nice little time to um, immerse yourself into a book. So. This one is great. I definitely recommend it. I want to go see the movie as soon as I'm done reading this. I am I know I'm kind of late on the bandwagon, um, but like I said, I don't really have a lot of time to read it otherwise, so um, being at the beach was like the perfect time to open up a, a good book, so this one is wonderful. If you're not a big reader, I would suggest taking your phone or iPod, MP3 player, whatever you have, and some headphones, and you will be good to go. Just make, you know your favorite summer playlist and then that's what I like to do and just kind of take a nap with my music so I love doing that at the beach as well. Another thing if you are going somewhere after the beach, if you're going out to lunch or you know if you're going out to dinner and don't have time to get ready, um, I love this Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. Um, so whenever I go to the beach my hair automatically gets a little bit wavy. 
but then this just enhances it and it does a really great job. I wear this stuff even if I don't go to the beach and I absolutely love it. I definitely recommend this. This is just the little travel size one from Ulta and it's perfect to just throw in your beach bag. And then of course we can't forget sunglasses. So I have had these sunglasses since it's probably too embarrassing to even tell you how long, so I'm not going to. But you can totally tell that, like, well, you probably can't see from here. But there's, like, pieces that are, like, chipping off. It's really bad. Um, these are, like, fake Coach sunglasses that I got at, like, a flea market years and years ago. But they are seriously my favorite. And I still have them. I don't even know how I have them. These are just my favorite. They're so dirty and old though. I seriously need to invest in a good pair of sunglasses. So two other things that I like to have with me just to kind of cool down a little bit are this Urban Decay Day Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This is great if you just want to do a quick spritz over your face if you're like really hot but don't feel like going in the water. So this is good if you do have makeup on and don't want to ruin your makeup by going in the water. Um, this just kind of cools you off a little bit so I like to have this. And then also, again, if you are wearing makeup, I usually don't like to wear makeup to the beach, but I know some people do. So if you're getting really hot and just want to take off all your makeup, you can always bring some makeup wipes. So I really like these ones by Simple. These are just the cleansing facial wipes. They're for sensitive skin. So these are great. And also, if you're not even wearing makeup, this is nice to just kind of wipe off all of the sweat and sunscreen and stuff and if you get sand on your face I know that happens sometimes so these are great to have just in case. I also like to have a mini deodorant with me so I got this one I think just from the travel aisle this is the degree it doesn't really matter what kind you find I just get whatever travel size I get I usually use degree deodorant so I like having this one but it's just a nice little mini size I carry one of these in my purse but I threw this in my beach bag because I know obviously it's going to be really hot at the beach so you don't want to be smelling especially if you're going somewhere afterwards and don't have time to like freshen up so this is definitely a must to have. And last but not least I like to have some snacks with me especially water. I would suggest everyone bring a bottle of water to the beach or whatever you want to carry it in. Um, some type of drink to keep you hydrated. I know a lot of times I'm out in the sun all day long and I just forget to do that and then I get like really lightheaded and stuff so make sure you're staying hydrated so I always have a bottle of water or two. Um, it's really good to take like frozen ones out and then you know throughout the day they just last longer. And then some of my favorite snacks that I like to bring are granola bars. So these are the ones that I've been loving lately. They're the kind bars. I love the peanut butter and dark chocolate one the best. Um, these are like more healthy for you than like a normal granola bar. They're gluten free and all natural, non-GMO. So I've been loving like healthy snacks lately so I don't feel guilty about snacking on this stuff. So I love this and then another snack that I've been obsessed with is this popcorn. It's called Boom Chicka Pop. This is what it looks like. They have like several different flavors and my favorite is the sweet and salty kettle corn. It is absolutely amazing. And it like doesn't have very many calories, so you don't have to feel guilty just like eating the whole bag like I do. And then these are also my favorite. I these are like the three things that I've been obsessed with lately. These are the snap pea crisps, and this is the lightly salted kind, but I also like the Caesar and the tomato basil. But this is what the packaging looks like, and so good. So I always like put some kind of snack together, or you can bring like fresh fruit. That's always nice to have at the beach too. So that was everything that was in my beach bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some good ideas of what you can carry with you to the beach or to the pool. Make sure to follow me on Instagram because I did post some pictures from when I was at the beach and stuff, so you should go follow me. All of my social media links will be down below. I have a Twitter, Facebook, everything like that. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and it helped you out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.